Now let's do the same thing that we did on the previous tutorial, but this time instead of implementing the upload book as function based views, let's do it using uh, class based views. So actually there is a, a misconception because there is two things. One thing is a class based view, which is just something like a class book list. And then you use, make it as a subclass from view. And then you have the get request here. And then post request. So you just break down this logic here inside the get and the post method. And you can also set the properties and custom methods and everything. But uh, so it's pretty much the same. So you can see here how to just to separate the, the code. But then there is also the generic class based views, which are views that are defined in the Django core. That's the URL. Yeah. So in case you want to use those, the built-in views. So this website here is a must because I, I find the documentation very confusing because there is a high level of inheritance on the, on the views and everything. It's get very, very confusing to follow. And this uh, website here is awesome because uh, it breaks down everything that you need to know because for example to the upload view we are going to use this create view it shows here the whole tree of inheritance of the class and all the attributes and methods so if you want to use those you should really really check this uh, website I'm going to put on the description below but it's just ccbv.co.uk right so what we want to do is use the generic class based view so we can make good use of existing uh, code. So here, the first one that we are going to use is a list view. So I have to import this one. So from Django views, generic list view. Oh, we already have here the generic. So, and then Let's create as book list view. Now we add a module as book. We are do not doing any filtering or anything. So it's just straight uh, the query set. And then the template name is going to be book list .html. And then there is this name here that we need to set like uh, the list of books, I think the default is, um, what is it? Yeah, there is none. I think it will set as book underscore list, but I'm not so sure. Or object list or something. Yeah. So we can, instead of trying to guess, just set here the name that we are expecting. So that would be it. So we can, this is for me the uh, ideal usage of generic class based views, because you can make your use case fit just by overriding the existing attribute. You don't need to write any extra code. So to use it, let's uh, create here on the URL. We want to keep the existing ones and then just create something like uh, so books. I'll put as class and then the book list as view. So I'm keeping both here because I'm going to share this source code with you so you can check the examples and have it as a reference for you. But then 
let's go now and see if it's still working so slash books is the one that we have here in the class yeah pretty much the same thing and you can see that it's working because for example if we remove the context object name so it's going to be something else and then let's save it here right now the upload but then we have this link here so actually i think it's a good idea to create a new template so we can separate the the examples um let's create here new template you can put as class book list and uh, and actually i can show you some really nice uh tricks with um, the template system because here on the book list what we can do we can create a, a new block inside this block here like content header and block and then what we can do is extend this book list and just set a new header so we extend booklist.html and we are just going to override class based view and then we are going to change this one here to something like uh, for now let's just remove it and then on the views switch it to class and book list right so we here we have one but then we are just over hiding this very tiny here block because we set here this block inside content and then we are creating this class book list as a child template and then just changing the bit that we need okay so the upload now should be we should use the create view so let's go back here to the docs so edit create view and then we should import it from django views generic true so create view we include it here now upload book view same thing model book and the nice thing is that we don't really need to define the model for we can create it as here as fields we can just use the fields here and then i think there is a success url let's see yeah it's a method yeah, but there is this yeah here so this is to where we should send the user after the upload is done so we send to book list and here if you uh, have a form you you can also point here to the existing uh, form that we have but if not you can just define the fields here and then one last thing is the template you can put as book no upload book not html we are going to use the same one and now just create a path to this create view here and to use the same logic so class books upload then views class upload book and 
and then maybe we can just point um, the upload button here to the new one let's test it out okay looks the same right but then we can check here um, for example those fields if we remove so it removes here the the field so we are controlling everything from here so both work you can use the the fields definition or you can use the form let's see what's the name I think it's model form or some no form class So instead of passing the fields, we can use the book form. So let's test it now. Just before, uh, just fixing some here, something here on the success URL should be class book list. But then to use the URL name, we need to use the reverse function. And since we are using it inside the class definition, we should use the lazy version. So it should wait until the uh, when it needs it to uh, resolve. So this function here basically is going to check the URL and then uh, convert it to the proper uh, slash URL, which is class books and then I mean class and books this one here okay so let's have a look right let's put the brothers then let's put the PDF this one here and now one cover and let's upload it okay then sent us back to the right one the class based view and then this time with the uh, the book cover too and then the PDF here and we can see the uploaded so this is where Django is saving the uploaded files we have here the covers and the PDFs, everything in place. So that's basically it.